everyone, I'm Jeannie Liu here at the GBTA Broadcast Studio and joining me today is Mike Ketting with Concur. Hi Mike, thanks Hi, for Jeannie. joining us today. You're welcome. Well, you and I are coming fresh out of our ed session here at Frankfurt where we talked about the research that GBTA and Concur did together on booking policies. So what are the key takeaways from that study? So, you know, Jeannie, this is uh, actually the second time we sponsored mm -hmm. this, this survey in Europe. And, uh, you know, to me, what was uh, the big takeaway was uh, that there be a lot of consistency in terms of the fragmentation of distribution channels that travelers are using. So we yeah. see that certainly we still have a predominance of travelers who are using the, the traditional online yeah. booking tool and the TMC. So we see a very consistent um, uh, number of travelers who are using the, the direct channel mm -hmm. to a lesser degree the OTA channel. And what's interesting is, you know, we see travelers predicting that um, uh, there will probably be some slight growth in that direct channel. Yeah. Um, not explosive growth, but, but continued growth in the direct channel. Talking about additional insights, what do we learn about different generational differences? That was very interesting. So, you know, I think we had a good representation of the demographics mm -hmm. of, of clients. Um, when we looked at the youngest demographics, um, uh, these were travelers who were almost exclusively uh, millennials. And so, uh, these are people who uh, were, uh, are up to 34, 36 years old mm -hmm. today. Um, people who have grown up with access to the internet. Um, uh, what we saw was these travelers were considerably more likely to use new distribution channels, supplier direct, and were considerably less loyal um, to the traditional channels like, like the online booking tool. Switching gears a little bit and talking about um, the sharing economy. I mean, right. they've, ever since they've kind of come onto the market as a disruptor, they kind of have an overall influence on, on, and on everything. So what do we learn in the study about adoption and policies around sh the sharing economy? Sure, so in the, in the course of the GBTA study, we got great insights about um, the policies and we saw there was a large number of companies um, who frankly haven't issued a policy yeah. with regard yeah. to home sharing and, and ride sharing. I think travelers generally interpret that absence of a policy exactly. as permission to, to use those. Mm -hmm. um, uh, interestingly, you know, we saw the travelers indicating uh, likelihood that they would uh, use those services more in the future, but not dramatically uh, more. Uh, we supplemented the GBTA data with some concur expense analysis, mm -hmm. and what we found was that um, with both uh, ride sharing and home sharing, uh, there continues to be uh, tremendous growth in the participation in those services and the spend in those services, um, albeit from a relatively small base. Yeah. Um, st but still, when you put that in context, uh, even though home sharing is, is growing at a, at a per great percentage, yeah. it's still a very minor uh, mm -hmm. portion of most companies' um, uh, lodging spend. Yeah. Uh, we also saw a huge difference in the uh, use of ride sharing amongst U.S. companies versus EU companies. Mm -hmm. And that perhaps is a reflection of a different regulatory environment in the mm. EU versus the U.S. That's true. So what does all this mean for the future of travel management? So uh, I think this has great insights for the future of travel management. And I, and I think um, the, the lessons that we draw from it and we hope others do as well is that um, first of all, there's uh, you know, tremendous opportunities mm -hmm. to uh, encourage and continue the, the loyalty that travelers have for online booking tools. And we see a continued great strength um, in that channel. But uh, just as importantly, we see that um, the supplier direct channel is a material part of almost every company's spend today. Yeah. Most companies are allow, uh, at least in some cases, the use of those direct channels. So from our perspective, um, it's no longer uh, acceptable for travel managers to use travel management tools from the last generation mm. that don't allow them to manage the travel that's happening in this, in this direct channel. Great, such great insights. Thank you so much, Mike. You're welcome, thanks.